is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to be talking about maxine in this video here today primarily going over some of the rumored new characters stuff that's been confirmed stuff that's not confirmed and i'll be sharing some details about this alley sequence that i've been hyping up for you guys and just go over what exactly you can expect to happen in that sequence because it's pretty badass but i will say all of this again regarding the alley sequence and even these names other details not all confirmed, just interesting details, stuff that is soon to be confirmed, and you guys probably know it'll be confirmed going off of the stuff that I've been telling you and my track record when it comes to all things Maxine over these last several months. So, just to start off here with the newcomers in terms of who they are playing. Uh, we know, of course, that Mia Goss returning as Maxine, the titular character, but Kevin Bacon is starring as John Lebet, who we know is a private investigator going off of the trailer. I've talked about the fact that he is hunting Maxine down because he's been hired to find her. Elizabeth DeBecky, this was revealed recently. She's starring as Elizabeth Bender, who is a film director. That's also being confirmed. She is scouting Maxine for this role in The Puritan 2. I will also tell you who Maxine is playing in The Puritan and go into my thoughts on what I think could be happening after Maxine in terms of this X franchise. Bobby Cannavale is starring as Ben Torres. He's a detective and his partner, Michelle Monaghan, stars as Marianne Williams, who is also a detective. Moses Sumney stars as Leon, a video store clerk and Maxine's best friend. Giancarlo Esposito is Teddy, Maxine's agent. Lily Collins stars as Molly. She's an actress who starred in The Puritan, the last movie to the sequel Maxine is about to star in. Then you have Halsey, who's starring as Tabby, Maxine's adult industry friend. Now, we've continued to get confirmation on things I've addressed, like this shot here from some new promo footage confirming that the events in X are, in fact, called the Texas Porn Star Massacre. For those of you who recall back in December, I believe I had referred to them as the Texas Porn House Massacre. So I was off by one word, but I'll just say that's yet another detail about, about Maxine that I have shared that's now being confirmed. I wanted to go over this scene here, at least. I think this is the scene anyway, this photo you see on your screen. If you'd like to wait for July 5th when the movie comes out, then click away. But I've hyped this scene up a bit on my channel already, so I'm going to go over what exactly is transpiring in this alley sequence. Now, all of this is allegedly, and again, unconfirmed until a clip comes out or until the movie drops to confirm it or until we get something from the cast and crew. All of this, I will say, is just a rumored allegation. That alley scene shown in the gif that we got to tease the trailer plays out like this. Maxine apparently is being followed down this alley by this Buster Keaton impersonator or something like that. She tries to escape from this weirdo, but ends up cornered by him and he pulls a knife out. At some point, Maxine is calling for Leon because I think she's by the video store that Leon works at. Maxine ends up pulling a pistol out in retaliation against this man and ends up forcing him to strip or she'll shoot him. So he starts getting naked and everything. And eventually during all of this, she makes him suck on the barrel of the gun. Yes, you heard me correctly. Eventually, he's then lying face down with his scrotum out. And Maxine brags about how she ran over the last person who tried to F with her. And then proceeds to do the most squirm inducing thing that they probably have in this movie. Apparently, she takes her heel stomps right down on this dude's nutsack and twist it to the point that the scrotum opens up. Now, I don't know how this will actually look on screen, but just hearing about that, that sounds very just squirm worthy as a man anyway. And anyone else out there watching me who's a male, which I think most of my viewers are male, but that sounds like hell. And if you've been following me on Twitter, I've even told you guys you might want to wear a cup going into Maxine. I've teased this sequence by sharing clips from Scary Movie 2 when Cindy arrives and bangs on the door using that, uh, that the nuts on the whatever that is, the doorbell, whatever. But yeah, that's what's happening in this sequence, apparently. Maxine is not effing around. She ends up making this man suck on her pistol and then proceeds to open up his nutsack with her heel in retaliation since he wanted to harass her. That sounds like it's going to be one of the best sequences in the film. I cannot wait to see it play out on screen. I'm sure Mia Goth will crush it in this performance. Everything from the trailer to what they've been saying in these interviews, all of it has me hyped and excited and just even more confident that Maxine is going to end up being one of the best slashers, if not the best slasher we have releasing this year theatrically. 
Uh, that is unless, doesn't Terrifier 3 come out this year? If Terrifier 3 somehow is able to surpass what we get in Maxine, which I don't think it will. Going into my thoughts on where I can see them going after Maxine. What about doing real life editions of the Puritan? Why not? So Maxine has landed the role in the Puritan 2 as this character named, allegedly, again, not confirmed, Veronica Rutland. Veronica Rutland is who she's playing in the Puritan 2. Now, going off of what we see in the trailer, all the other footage, the TV spots, it would appear that there's going to be some type of big premiere for this movie at some point in the film. I know exactly when the premiere is happening. I'm just not going to tell you when it is. However, what if after Maxine's chapter is closed, we can just get actual movies of the Puritan? You can bring Lily Collins back, have her star in the first chapter of the Puritan, then do the sequel to the Puritan, bring me a goth back, and just give us real world versions of the Puritan. That can be the fourth and fifth entry of this franchise. I wouldn't mind it. Yes, it's very meta, but I think that would be a unexpected route or path to take that your next actual entries into the franchise are going to be actual movies that are inspired by the movie within the movie. I wouldn't mind it at all. And I know, yes, that is very meta. I'm sure a lot of you would be down for it as much as you might also be down for seeing the fall of Maxine and seeing Pearl's warning to her in X play out on screen. We've seen her rise. We could also see her fall, but that's to be expected. Going down the path of giving us real versions of the Puritan to enjoy and add to this franchise would be highly unexpected by many viewers, unless you're watching this video, of course. But you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. What do you think about that being the next path in the X franchise? Just giving us real versions of the Puritan, bringing Lily Collins back bringing Mia Goth back for the sequel to The Puritan 2 and letting us see that film play out as we are shown it's being shot in Maxine. It just sounds like something that would be fun to do. That's just my opinion on it. I cannot wait for you guys to see Maxine. I cannot wait for you to see who the secret cast member is. Some of you have cor correctly guessed it. Some of you are in fact way off, but I also do not know of any other cameos. I don't know if Jenna Ortega will appear or not, but you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.